The transfer window may be closed, but hearts, hearts, glorious hearts are making this week somewhat interesting because they've announced two pre-contract signings. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Football. And it is James Penrice as numero uno. Of course, started his career at Partick Thistle. Played a whopping 84 games at Partick Thistle. A few loan spells out there as well. East Fife and Livingston before making his move to Livingston. And he has got, what, three goals and 77 appearances. He's a left back, folks. All right, folks, come on. I'm not going to bury the guy too much for uh, not getting too many goals. But I think if Hearts are ever, if any team is ever to make strides towards the old firm, you know what you need to go out and do? You go out and do the job. And not the job is, you sign some of the best free agents available in the league. And I'm not going to pretend that this guy, you know, is on a level of like a red fan yell mask, because of course he's not. But... It's what you need to do, right? You need to go out and sign the best that's available in the league to strengthen yourself, weaken the rest, and get you that step closer to the old firm. Um, and this guy, James Penrice, I think is a good player. I'm not saying he's gonna he's gonna bridge the gap, but he will help absolutely. Um, but in terms of his stats this season for Livingston, I mean for Livingston it's been a disaster. But uh, anyway. He's played 22 times in the league. He has played one time in the Scottish Cup. And he has played, what, six times in the League Cup. What are we leaving him with a whopping 29 appearances? Now, he is 25. He will be 26 um, at the end of the year in December. So, put it every way we want. I think it's a pretty decent move for Hearts. But the guy I'm more impressed with how the Hearts got him is Blair Splittle. This guy, I'm not, I don't think he was ever on the level of like a Gary Mackay Stevens back in the day. But, you know, there was a decent amount of hype around this guy. Right, I don't think you can really dispute that. He's played for Dundee United, he's played for Partick Thistle, he's played for Ross County. His hype kind of went downhill, but then, but then, it's kind of brought it back recently for me in Motherwell. Because I think this definitely weakens Motherwell, it definitely strengthens Hearts um, in that degree. But he's played, what, 34 times across the League Cup and Scottish Premiership this season, grabbing himself nine goals. I think... I think with Alan Forrest and James Split and James Splittle is um depth. It's all right options. Obviously Alan Forrest already at um the mighty Jambos. But I think I think it's pretty good moves here from Hearts. You know, two pre contracts, agreeing them in what it's towards the end of March. You can't really complain about it from a Hearts fan perspective. I've seen Oon Cameron, he was loving it. He was absolutely loving it. And you've got to bear in mind as well, not only is it Blair Splittle and James Penrice? It's also Jans Dehanda. That is smart business, man. Smart business, man. No matter what way you want, your, your opinion is of hearts, you've got, to, you've got to put your hands out and be like, you know what? Fair play to the Jambos. They've hit the nail on the head with those sirens. Um, obviously, these three players, I think, are beneath, well, not that I think, like, I know they're beneath the old firm, even though you could argue that, like, hand is probably better than Scott Wright. But here, yeah, Rangers need to look above and beyond both of those players. So, so do Celtic. But, good players. You know, it weakens Levy. It weakens Ross County. It weakens Motherwell. But not only that, it's these players moving to a bigger and better club with an actual future. You know, you're, you're looking at a team that's guaranteed European group stage football. I mean, you, you can't complain with that. You cannot complain with that, folks. I mean, that is pretty good from their perspective, I mean, going through the plastic pitches of Livy into the big cauldron known as Tyne Castle. Can't be too bad, guys. It can't be too bad, to say the least. But uh, anyway, that's where we're going to leave this video. Hearts make a double signing. Good news for them. Uh, can't complain about it from a Hearts perspective, as I've already said probably about a million times already. But here, guys, it's international week. Uh, you know, Wales, I'm sorry, Hearts, Wales advanced, Poland advanced, there was a couple of crazy red cards, crazy decisions going on earlier. For some reason I thought they were double legged, -like but of course they're not. So yeah, Wales getting both their games at home. Absolutely, uh, that helps them, doesn't it? Big man, doesn't it? But anyway guys, we'll be back very soon. Will it be three home nations? Will it be two? And tomorrow, the mighty Scotland are back, taking on Holland. Big game, big players, it'll be interesting to see what happens yet again. But anyway, until next time, peace.